What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Bianca Neri Zone for, uh, here we go, uh, Douglas Louise, because now we are at the final details now, um, there's there's always a chance of breaking things down, but if the club actually moves from, McCandy doesn't really want to join, do you want Barnicea? Yes, you want Barnicea, then it's basically done deal, or that tells you that <clears throat> both clubs, Aston Villa and Juve want to get this deal over the line that even if you include a new player, Barnicea, you probably never really mentioned the last two, three weeks when you were in talks to get this deal done. And Aston Villa is like, yeah, we'll take Barnicea. And Juve is like, okay, you can take Barnicea. You both as a club make it very clear that here we go. We want to get this deal over the line. You get Douglas Luiz. We get Barnicea Jr. and 20-ish million. It's variating. It's 25 it's 20 plus bonuses. Even for Barnicea, it's a value of 15 plus bonuses, 10 plus bonuses. It all de depends right now. Uh, it's a bit all over the place because some might say or some sources saying we're getting money, like literally money for Barnicea with bonuses. Others were saying, are, no, it's just a, that's the value and we keep it moving basically. So that will all be clear. Actually, when it will be announced officially, then you can read out the statement. Other... Up to that point, it's all a bit speculating. But the deal is we are getting rid, rid. We're moving on two players plus, let's say, 20-ish million, 20 million euros. And we get Douglas Luiz in, uh, in return, who um, I think a lot of people like. And a part of the fan base is still confused. Do we actually need him? Uh, was he a main target in the summer? I'm going to say no. I think that's an opportunity that came about. They asked, gently asked Mota, saying, do you like Douglas Luiz? If so, good, we can make it work because we can get players in the deal. We need to give a contract and it's not working out. Now, obviously, when McKenney completely broke down, so now you have a situation where he's out of contract, he's asking for a lot of money, you do not want to pay him an exit fee, which I still have no clue what it actually means right now, but you have a problem out now with McKenney. The difference is you get... Um, you get Douglas Luiz in return. And according to some sources, Pedula uh, as well, uh, he really pushed for uh, Douglas Luiz. And I think it's it's telling because, again, you need to back your coach. That's all. That's also a key to a certain extent. But also, there were there was a rumor that um, that he liked, Mota liked Barnicea, and even the fact that he's like, okay, I need Douglas Luiz, I want Douglas Luiz, I'm okay with you letting Barnicea go, go, excuse me, tells you that he actually wanted uh, Douglas Luiz. Now, a lot of people like the source uh, Nick uh, Simeraro, um, I think his name is, uh, he also said that um, before everything agreed, Douglas Luiz spoke to Thiago Mota, and... Um, he told Douglas Luiz that I need you. Like, I really believe in you. I think you'll be a, a clear player for this team. And I think that the fact that Juntoli went from, okay, no McKenny, do you want Banichea really quickly in a matter of a couple of hours, tells you that he is seeing eye to eye with Mota in terms of, okay, what do you need? What do you want? If I can make it work, you know, within the, the parameters financially of this club, I will make it work. I will not waste my time and I will get get it done. And that's basically what Juntoli is doing there. So I cannot fold that, that he's packing his manager. I cannot put that up to debate. Now, if it's a good move, only time will tell. We cannot say that now for sure. You know, we can. Maybe Barnicea turns out to be an excellent player and we will be looking at this saying, wow, this was terrible. Maybe Douglas Luiz does not have an impact on this team. We don't know. So it's... You can like or dislike a player. I fully get that. I have preferences, you know. But the Douglas Luiz one is interesting because when the name came about, I was like, that's not really a need we need right now. Now, with Mota, and that's just my observation, and he said it as well, that players do not need to have do not need to have fixed positions. They need to move around a little bit. You know, they don't need to stick around, you know, because he doesn't like a player just who can only play one position and that's it. If I look at his midfield, they move around a lot. So maybe you don't need a Bernicea to hold. It's just the potential you're losing with Bernicea. You value him at 50 now to get him in the deal. But over a year or two, it could be 45. That's the main issue now. You, right now. You risk losing a lot of youngsters just to get your 
certain deals on, done now and balance out your books. But you get a player who's ready made now. So maybe Mota's like, okay, I need that more. So now also Locatelli plays as a DM, but with Mota, I don't think players will have a fixed position. It will be a lot of movements and all about uh, all about that. So um, only time will tell. Only time will tell. The quote-unquote good news is Douglas Luiz pushed for this move because he spoke to Thiago Mota. He was convinced. So that's always a positive sign that a player actually spoke to the manager and got convinced by the manager to take that step because he could have stayed in the Premier League. He might have joined Arsenal, whatever, because we need to be honest. We all love this club. The last couple of years have been poor. You're looking out from the inside as well. But looking out from the outside, as a player, you might be looking at Juve saying, wow, uh, the last three years have not been good on and off the pitch. Where is this club actually going? You know. And when you have other options, like an Arsenal and so on, so on, and you're still convinced about... Thiago Mota, who's basically new to the scene still, like he hasn't done much, but is tipped to be the next big thing, you know, tipped to be doing a good job, and you're convinced about that, that's a good sign, you know, that's a good base to start off, and I like Douglas Luiz, you know, he was the main priority, I don't think he, he fills the main priority need, you know, but again, Two summers, end of the summer, we can say, okay, this makes sense. If you sign a Colt Miners, maybe you keep Sule. Maybe Chiesa actually doesn't leave, although there are rumors that he might be going to Napoli now so or Bayern. It's all wait and see what is actually the plan of the club. Because, again, for the wingers, you cannot sell all the wingers and then not replace anyone. And that brings me to the last piece of news to wrap this one up. It's Moise Keane because Alfredo Pedula is saying he's gone. He's leaving the club. He's on his way out and he has three options now. Bologna, because that Italiano really likes him, and there were talks uh, in the summer, in summer, in January, excuse me, as well. Fiorentina is an option, and the Saudi League. Those are the options. Now, I'm not a financial expert, so I don't know what the club needs to do to actually balance it out on the books. Hanin, Norbert, whoever is watching, anyone in the chat, let me know, let the people know. Um, what I do know is ter- it was a ter- terrible deal to bring him back. You need to move him on, obviously. And uh, I think we will move him on. It's just one of those deals where the club, I think, will just do about to break even, you know, to not make a mess on the books, and they they will keep it moving. Now, his wage is $3.5 million, which is crazy. That's not something Bologna is going to play, pay, excuse me, not even Fiorentina. So that's an issue. Is he going to lower his demands, or is he going to the Saudi league and say, okay, this is something I want to do, or does he, is he sitting there be saying, I'm so young, I don't want to do this right now? We don't know. What we do know is that he needs to move for his own sake as well, and he will probably move. That adds to the discussion of, okay, now you're letting King go, Sule is leaving, Keza is leaving, Junior is leaving, we don't have players forward. Only time will tell. That's the calm down part right now. I know it's frustrating right now to read the outgoing news, but we just need to wait and see what is actually the plan. What is actual the formation? What Mota actually do needs? Like we have so many unknowns right now that things might sound confusing and things might sound very normal right now. It's just wait and see. But for now, it's a here we go in Napoli. <laughs> here we go Douglas Luiz basically because both clubs really push for it, find, found a solution in a matter of a couple of hours, saying, okay, this is also good, let's keep it moving, even on the cash part for the club, that tells you both clubs want to get this deal done ASAP, and the McKenny one, <clears throat> only time will tell what will happen with McKenny, but it's 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 a weird situation, it's a not looking, it's, it's a not looking good situation for the club, and even for McKenny. but that's it, let me know in the comments what you think about the potential deal now, um, and yeah, like the video, subscribe, and I will be back live tomorrow. So stay tuned for that um, because um, I will have uh, Steve on again. Ciao.